Yeah, there you go, there's your chair. Yeah, I'm fine. I got your little cushions for I you. I know, because I'm a bit right? short, yes. You're only equal cool now, aren't you? Yes. You used I to be am. big, but now you're equal. Cool. No, it. no, it was just the clothes. No, it was weight fluctuation. Well, it's, <laughs> it's nice to have you on the show. It's been a long, long time. A year. The last time we had a proper chat was at my house, the day you came round for quote unquote career oh. advice. Oh. The day before she announced she was splitting from the Spice Girls. Oh. The day and before, so it was all your fault, wasn't it? Yeah, well, the day before she came out to my house, didn't mention it to me I didn't at all. Actually, no. Was photographed leaving my house. Yeah, and what were they I doing? I got the blame. Yes, I did shout at you, and you had to lift me over your fence, didn't you? I did indeed. That yeah. was a rather obscene moment. But that was the Saturday afternoon before the yeah. Sunday when you announced you were going to split up from the yeah. band. Now, why didn't you tell me? Because did I'd, you know? No, I don't know. I at the be beginning of the year. Um, so it was about January, February, I told the girls I was leaving, but I was due to leave at the end of Wembley Stadium, so they always knew that I was giving them my notice. So when so you I hand your notice in for the Spice Girls? Yeah, I did. <laughs> and I wanted to do Wembley Stadium. So, but when I, the day that I left, I did not know I was going to do it. It was kind of a moment in time. It was just like a snap decision when I just thought, you know what, it was when I couldn't do a breast cancer interview and I was in Helsinki. And I just thought, you know what, I'm meant to be the advocate of girl power. I'm a liar and a hypocrite. If I can't do this, you've got to get your priorities right in life. So it's kind of a snap decision. So when I was with you... The day I, before? Yeah, I knew I was going to leave, but not until September. But you didn't say anything to me. I know, because I just, you know, I was keeping it to myself. So like you do. that afternoon you had no idea that the next day you were going to leave the band? No. I always knew I was going to leave the end, but it was just one of those things I just thought, it's a moment of clarity, and I just thought, I've got to go. So what happened in the following 24 hours, 48 hours, week, two weeks? I was cracking weeks? myself, basically. <laughs> I, it was just one of those things that I, you know, I had to hide from the press a little bit, because I think at such a time I was very emotional mm -hmm. and kind of a little bit angry and a little bit sad, and I just thought, you know, it's really good to keep your mouth shut at that moment in time, because you don't want to say the wrong thing. And so, and and then I went and hid out with George. Mr. Michael. <laughs> yes, I did. That so from me great. to George. I've Michael. got to say oh, hello to him. He's watching. His camera said, "Hi, George." Hello, He's George. Home. Yeah. And he said, "You haven't returned his calls." I have returned his calls. No, he said that's oh, me. I have. I always return George's calls. I'll do anything for George. Okay. <laughs> So, so, so we chatted for like five or six hours. Yes. Did, did. anything I say have any meaning to you at yes, all? Yes, it did. Because I can't remember what I said. You did. What you, did I say? You said things about tele we talked about television. Television. Yes. And How you should do things. Yes, yeah, certain things. And, uh, yeah. and then you ignored all that and went no, to, I didn't. to George Michael no, instead. No, I didn't. I didn't. I've got little pieces. I, you know, at the end of the day, even George gives me advice. And he goes, I know you're going to do what you want anyway, you know, at the end of it. So I just Is take that pieces. Talks, like? Is that what he talks like? that what Oh, no, you were going to do what you want anyway, girl. Yeah. So we're both from Watford. When, when did you, you hook know? up with him? How did, it, how did you meet? Because you were in hiding and suddenly you were at his no, villa. No, I or... knew George a year before that, just telephone buddies. Right. And because I always fancied him, but then I thought I had a chance, but obviously I wasn't his <laughs> type, was I? And then, um, and I was staying abroad and I had nowhere to go basically. And I got a phone call and said, come and stay with me for a few days. And I just stayed for three months. So I overstayed my welcome slightly. So <laughs> we had a good is he time. your mentor? Have you really gone the way he said, or have you done no, what you he, wanted to do? No, he literally did really... I was a headless chicken when I left the Spice because I didn't know what I was going to do. Can you imagine? It's like being married, and then suddenly you have to say goodbye to your whole life. Mm. And so I was, I was quite distraught about the whole thing, you know, because I loved being in the Spice Girls. Part of me really did. And so he said... Which parts of you loved being in the You know, I gave my heart <laughs> to that band. You I know, saw it on many occasions, actually. Yes, you did. And, you know, I truly did. I gave everything. I was passionate about it. Do you miss them? Um, that's a really difficult... And the, I'll tell you what it's, it's like. When you start something new, I feel too insecure to go back to my past at the moment. I need to focus on who I am You're now. You're very deep, though, aren't you, at the moment? You think about things an awful lot. I've always been... I don't know about deep. That's a kind of... What about going one. with your gut now again? Yeah, I, mean, I, I know do your gut's not there anymore. It's disappeared. For, I don't know where it's gone to, but it's you still are there. beautiful. I mean, you, can uh, I weigh you? I've got to weigh you. I weigh John Collins. Oh, no. What do you think you weigh? Come on, what do you think you weigh? I don't believe in weighing yourself. Well, I'll... I think it's traumatic weighing what do you yourself. Th what do you think you weigh? I I reckon I'm about eight stone. Nowhere near eight stone. Oh my it's god! Just over seven, you see. I can guess girls' god, weight from other <laughs> Wow, but I think it's what you feel. Actually, my song is about how you feel. Okay. It is. Look is it at, called "Look at Me"? Isn't it? Look at me. It's actually it's very tongue in cheek in saying, you know, look at me, but look past the labels. Let's look see at a bit. Let's see a bit of the Are song. We're look at the. Yeah, well, it rocks. Oh, so great. rocks. Thank you. Now, okay. When I first, when I first heard that song, I thought. It was
Sorry, it's a very catchy song and a good one to come back with, but I didn't think it was strong enough. But now, after listening to it a few weeks, it's actually quite a good song, isn't it? I like oh, song. Thank you. I'll take that as a massive compliment. No, 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 it's Compl right. It gets there. I don't like the musical bit in the middle where you go... Whoa! That's a piss take. No, yeah, but it's very gay, though, as well. You know you get the gay following. Nothing you wrong know in that. You know you get the gay following. Nothing wrong in that. Wrong that. But you've gone a bit for the gay market, haven't you? No, I've gone from every... I think music should appeal to anybody, regardless George of what George has made says. you go for some of the gay no! market. No! <laughs> yes, she has. And as you say, there's nothing wrong with that. It does. It shouldn't matter whether you're gay, black, ginger, woman. <laughs> come on. Do you know what? Let's gay, point at each other girl more. power is now black power, gay yes. power, woman power. Human real... power. Exactly. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Unless you're a battery and then it's ever any power. Now, okay. uh, we're moving on uh, very swiftly. And very, we've got okay. a, you've got your, your documentary out on Channel 4. This is on Wednesday. Oh, my God. And it's a tantrums and tiaras. It and she isn't. goes nuts in it. She goes completely nuts in it. Can I just say, OK, this... I've got to get the record straight on this because I let this lady do this documentary on me when I was very vulnerable. Obviously, I left the spine. It's going to be good viewing. It's going to be great viewing, but I am out of the country when the, when everyone sees it. They're going to find. It was a moment in my time when I was feeling, looking back. I was so depressed. Well, it's on on Wednesday. We've got to watch it. You, Just leave it like that. Don't say okay, too much about it. Okay. Sherry okay. Hallowell for the moment. Yeah. 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 It's time to get naked! It is time We're to get naked! naked.